Okay, uh, we're doing maintenance on, uh, I think it's a four ton. Yeah, it's a four ton heat pump, 16 seer infinity. Uh, we're going to get this thing all apart. See the coil's kind of dirty. Over here. See, it's it's not too bad this year. I take care of this one every year. So we'll get the panels off of it and do a coil cleaning and we got to change a filter downstairs, humidifier pad, flush condensate drain. And we'll go from there. As you can see, this is a heat pump so it runs all the time. Got a lot of cotton wood in the area so this coil gets pretty dirty. So it's essential that you clean these heat pumps on a yearly basis so you get the efficiency out of them. Get all the base paint cleaned up. Okay, we got we got that squirted off. Get some coil cleaner on here. Coil cleaner down here. You get this base pan. Let that sit there a minute and get it washed off. Okay, we got it cleaned up. Um, got the base pan all clean. So let's get the panels back on. That's the fun part. And we'll take some video past that. Now when you uh, <clears throat> when you're doing maintenance on these things, you got to make sure you wax them. This unit's from 2008, still looks brand new, so you got to make sure you wax them. If you don't wax them, they won't stay pretty. So right now I just got some uh, McGuire's wax, auto wax.
can wax cleaner. Cleaner helps a little. So I'm trying to beat the rain. I already got dumped on once here. You know, these things sit out in the sun all day long, so gotta make sure they get a coat of wax on them, protect them. Just on the top side, you can't do the, obviously you can't do the tail guards. I gotta get inside before we go any farther. Okay, here we down. We're down at the, the unit downstairs. Just cleaned out the pan. Pan's got a little rust on it. Gotta throw some condensate kind of tablets in here. Put one down the condensate kind of drain. Close your damper. that filter in March. So that filter is still good. We don't have to change it. Just install a brand new hot water tank in here. Oh. Now this is the this is the Carrier Infinity uh, older unit. This is the MVC 58 MVC 100, and it's coupled up to uh, the heat pump, uh, which is uh, 25 HNA. I think it's uh, 648, so 16 sear, uh, 4-ton. There's our large bypass humidifier. But let me get everything finished up down here, and we got to go outside, take a few temperatures and pressures, and check capacitors. And, but everything looks good down here. You can see there's a little rust. We had a condensate issue before. They had to separate the humidifier. They had to bring it below the trap because the humidifier was being used so much. Clog up the trap and then during the summer, it would uh, overflow into the pan. So that's why we got so much rust in there. All right. Okay, we're back at the outside unit. We got a whole condenser at 13.4 amp draw on the, the compressor is 12.6 Con condenser fans 0.9 1.0 all our capacitors checked out good um, running a 15 degree sub cooling right now so this unit's up and running good. Uh, this is probably this is the end of maintenance on this one. All right, thanks.